right guys, I'm back with another quick tip of the day. You're probably wondering what's going on in front of me right here. Well, this is the Hero 3 Black Edition mounted to the CM01 microphone stand adapter and a boom microphone stand holding all of this up in the air. Why am I showing this? Well, a boom microphone stand will only set you back about $20, maybe a little bit less. And the CM01 adapter will set you back about $9. The two combined allow you to position your GoPro Hero 3 pretty much anywhere you want. Why is this useful? Well, if you're trying to do product shots and you maybe want to demonstrate something with your hands, you can do something like this right here, where you can fiddle the knobs, fiddle, fiddle, moving the knobs around, whatever, you know, flipping this in different directions, touching the XLR inputs, and what have you. This makes it really convenient to get over the top of, say, a table or a small stand or whatever you're trying to film. You want to be able to have a wide angle of the product and you want it to be directly overhead. Getting your GoPro positioned there can be difficult, but with a boom microphone stand, it's pretty simple. So for 30 bucks, you can position your GoPro Hero 3 pretty much anywhere you want. And these stands extend all the way up to almost eight feet. So you can get really tall shots pointing down if you really want to. Now you're also probably wondering what this cable is right here. Well, I have the HDMI port plugged into an HDMI monitor that's out of frame. I can look into that monitor and demonstrate the item without actually looking down. The reason that's handy is because I'm wearing a lav mic. If I start doing something like this, the mic will get blown out and it'll pick up air and breathing noise and what have you. But if I'm looking off in the distance here, I am not breathing into the microphone. This is also extremely handy because you wanna make sure that your item is positioned under the GoPro properly. If you're using just the GoPro by itself, it's hard to tell if it's going to get your item in the shot because you can move out of frame or what have you without even realizing that your GoPro doesn't have the item in frame. You can use the backpack, but it's pretty small and it's hard to see. Or you could also use a tablet mounted somewhere out of frame as a reference for the position of the filmed item underneath of the GoPro. Any of those options will work, but make sure that you have some sort of screen so when you're doing product shots, you can see what's going on. Anyway, I'll have links to all these items in the crotch bar below, along with the write-up over at dslrfilmnoob.com. That's been your quick tip of the day.